Welcome to Moby. What an exciting day it is to talk about our product, Moby Route. Being on time correlates closely to the satisfaction of your customers. Let Moby eliminate risk and add value to your daily operations by operating at the greatest economic benefit to your company. Moby Route is Moby's daily planning application that reduces mileage and increases on time arrivals, which result in providing better customer service in your industry. Our advanced modeling and simulation techniques are driven by your goals, built on your metrics, and based on your operational data, providing results that you can trust. In this training video, you will learn how to utilize Moby Route by entering in the POI information, selecting drivers, creating daily schedules, analyzing schedules, moving, deleting, and adding visits, as well as exporting schedules to PDF so they can be emailed to the technicians in the field. Well, enough talk about Moby Route. Let's open the Moby Route application now by clicking on the route icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To begin building your route, we must first choose a level from within your organization. This data is pre populated from the Moby Resource module, which you used previously to set up your company's branches or levels, personal data, and POIs. For today's training example, let's choose the Austin route and pick May 2nd for the planned date. In the route planning screen, you will see all the critical information needed to create the daily plan within your organization. Please direct your attention to the driver start location section of the screen. This section allows you to choose from an already created POI or allows you to create a new point of interest where the drivers will begin their day by day just by typing in the text box. If this is a new POI for the company, it will be automatically saved to Moby Resource upon committing the plan. This is typically the branch address for most companies. For today's example, let's choose the Austin office. Notice that the address is automatically populated. Next, let's direct our attention to the center section of the information screen labeled Planned Visits. In the Planned Visits section, one can enter in each POI name, address, time window, and duration manually, or you can also add planned visit information in a group by clicking on the button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen labeled Add Visits from Spreadsheet. Let's first create a manual POI by entering in the pertinent information. In our example, the address, time window, and duration are pre-populated. You can change these by clicking on an area and editing the field. Next, let's add a group of POIs by clicking on the button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen labeled Add Visits from Spreadsheet. Notice a spreadsheet was displayed. You can copy and paste information into this spreadsheet to make the POI entry quicker. Upon entering in all of the POI information, click the Add Visits button at the lower portion of the screen and you will notice that all your visits will be displayed in the Planned Visits section of the application. Let's click on Add Visits now. You are able to edit the POI name, address, time window, and duration if necessary on any of these visits. The system also provides address validation checking to ensure the POI address information is correct before creating a daily plan for your company. Once you are satisfied that all your POIs are entered in successfully, we can prepare to run the daily plan. If you will direct your attention to the bottom portion of the screen, you will see the plan settings area. In the plan settings area, you can choose the goal of your plan. This could be minimum distance, minimum late time, or balanced distance and late time. The minimum distance profile is built to ensure the company vehicles travel the shortest distance over the duration of the day. The benefit of using this profile is to reduce wear and tear on the company vehicles and windshield time for the driver. The minimize late time profile should be used whenever there are many customer time constraints. This profile will optimize the technician's day around meeting the customer's time windows, but may sacrifice efficient drive time to do so. The final profile is the balance, distance, and late time profile. This choice will result in the system working to achieve a balance between reducing windshield time and honoring small customer time windows.
but for today's training we will use the minimize distance profile. Let's now enter in the driver's shift time and the number of drivers that will be needed to complete today's work. If you would like to allow the drivers overtime, you can also enter in the amount of overtime before selecting the Create Plan button. Let's create the plan now. Once the plan is created, the system will take us to the route planning screen. In this screen, you will be able to see the stops and the sequence in which the system planned them to be completed. The map will allow you to zoom in or out utilizing the scroll wheel on your mouse, and will also let you move the map by clicking on a point within the map and dragging your mouse. But if you do not have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can zoom in and out utilizing the magnification bar on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's look at the plan information under the map. Here you will see the total routes, total jobs, late jobs, on-site time, travel time, total time, distance, and overtime minutes if applicable. You will also have the ability to assign a driver to a route. Each driver that you assign to a route must have been entered in the Mobi Resource module prior to creating the plan. Let's assign drivers now. Below the route information, you will see if there are any unassigned jobs. In our example today, there are no unassigned jobs. Next, we can analyze each driver route to see where they will travel throughout the day to complete service orders. By clicking on a driver and looking at the map, you will notice the map is automatically updated with the driver stops for the day. Let's look at the blue driver stops. And the green driver stops. Notice our map displays both the green driver stops and the blue driver stops. If we were to click on the green driver one more time, we will notice the green driver stops go away from the map. If you are satisfied with the plan that the system provided, you can click on the Commit Plan button in the lower right hand portion of the screen. Let's do that now. Once the plan is committed, the route is automatically available to the driver in the Mobi Connect application. If your driver does not currently have the Mobi Connect application, you also have the ability to export the route into a PDF format that you can in turn print out and email to your drivers. To look at the PDF document, select the button Download All Assigned Routes in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Let's say, for example, since you committed the plan, a customer called in and requested a visit for the same day. Utilizing the Add Visit button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, you could also add a visit to one of the driver's routes. Let's do that now by clicking on Add Visit. Once the Add New Visit screen is displayed, we can enter in the POI name, address, time window, and duration. Let's do that now. you will now see an unassigned job located at the bottom of the screen. Let's assign or move this job to one of the routes now by clicking on the pencil icon in the far right hand corner. Next let's select the route to move this job to. Select the sequence and click on apply. We will now be taking back to the main route screen. We also have the ability to move or delete jobs assigned to a current technician. We can move the job by clicking on the pencil icon, like we just did for the unassigned job, or we can delete the job by clicking on the trash can icon located on the far right hand side of each job. If you move or delete the job from the plan, it will be removed or moved from the Mobi route application completely, and it will also be removed from the driver's Mobi Connect module application immediately. Let's take the example that many new jobs have come in since creating the plan 
and you have too much work to assign to the drivers. In this case, you can create an additional route. You do this by clicking on the Add Route button in the lower left-hand corner. Let's click on that button now. You will notice a new route is added as it shows up in a new color with an empty list of visits. You can now assign a driver and move jobs or visits from any other route to this newly created route. MobiRoute gives you power over the day, helping you to deal with the dynamics of your service industry. Congratulations, you have successfully learned how to utilize MobiRoute by entering in POI information, selecting drivers, creating a daily schedule, analyzing the schedule, exporting the information to PDF, as well as learning how to add a job, move a job, and finally learning how to add a new route. For any further questions on the MobiRoute application, please contact our support team by sending an email to support at mobicorp.com. Thank you for your time today and for your interest in our MobiRoute application.